Hello friends, today we will discuss about a very simple problem which is palindrome. So you will be given a string and you have to check if the given string is palindrome or not. So basically this is a very simple problem but this is the most important questions because these questions was asked in many on campus and off campus coding test and in Nagar coding test these questions are repeatedly asked in Nagar coding test. So friends, uh, you will be given a string, input strings like this, input, and the string will be like this, uh, suppose level, and if it is a palindrome, so if the string is palindrome, then you have to output it, output it as 1. Or if it is not a phenomenon, then you have to output it as zero. So you know uh, if the given string is palindrome or not. So suppose you are giving a string like this L E V E and capital L. So this is the input string, and you have to read it from the forward. So from forward, it will be like L E V E and capital L. And from backward, so back from backward, uh, first capital L will come first, then E, then P, then E, and then small L. And see, friends, here the level and this level, these two strings are completely different because uh, the first string is start by small L, and the second string is start by the capital L. So this is not a palindrome strings. So we'll return for this input as zero. Okay. Hope you understand the questions and we'll solve it using C language. And you know the basic format of the C language. So first we'll write it as as include. As include IO stream using namespace standard and then the main function. Okay, and the main function will declare a string and initialize it. So string is your ng string suppose s and our input is suppose level l e v e l so all the characters are small and okay then we'll write a function uh, to check if the given string is palindrome or not. And for that, we'll write it as is spell is spelling no, and we'll pass the s, and finally here we'll output it. Okay. So before the main function, we'll write this function, and the return type will be or int because it will return one or zero. So the return type will be int and then is spelling wrong and then string string s okay so uh, we'll write first the left positions of the string so the left position is zero and the right position is uh, int right that means uh, r int r equals to s dot search minus one so the size of the string is s dot size and we'll subtract it by minus one because the left value started from zero so this is the Left position 0 and the right position is s dot size minus 1. Hope you understand this. 
and they will just do a while loop here while r greater than l while the r position is greater than the l position that is while the right position is greater then the left position then we will do this while loop and we will check it here if the s of l s of l not equals to s of r ok if the s of l if the left value of the string is not equal to the r value of the string if this is not the case suppose uh, here the input was level and here the l value and the left value is l here this l this left side l this is the left value that means this is the s of l and the right value is small l also because here the rightmost character of the string is small l so this l and this l these two small l if this is not equals if the left value and the right value not equals then we will just return 0 or in tu or in return 0 and after this we will just post in increment the values of l and r and we can do this uh, inside this if conditions because this is a post increment uh, after this after this operation uh, the post increment for l and we will do the post decrement of r because we will increment the l value from l to e and uh, for the right right positions we will decrement the r value from this rightmost l to this e ok and this is the post increment and this will happen after this operation after this if condition operation the post increment will happen and finally we will return 1 Ok friends, that's our code and we'll run it and check if our code is right or not. Ok, let's run it. Ok, here we have get the output as 1 and our code is correct because level is a, you know, level is a palindrome string. So, if we write here as capital L. Let's see if it is palindrome or not. If it is not palindrome, then we will get the output as 0. If it is palindrome, then we will get the output as 1. So, let's see by running the program. Okay, it's compiling and our output is 0 and that's correct and this is not a palindrome strings and our code is absolutely correct. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and if you still not subscribe to our channel then please subscribe it now because it will be very helpful for your upcoming exams and thank you for watching this video